Hey guys, so in this video, I will teach you how to use Google Workspace. So in here, we have here the workspace at google.com website. And when you're in there, you can see this start free trial. So Google allows you to experience Google Workspace for 14 days without any fee. And if you're satisfied with that function of Google Workspace, you can head over again to here and you can see here the pricing. So when we click on that, as of now, the current price for this Google Workspace ranges at about 5.40 US dollars for a business starter and the ex most expensive is the business plus around 18 US dollars. Additionally, you can also try the enterprise and there is no definite price for this because you have to get in contact with their sales for pricing and quotes. So once you start your free trial, you just need to fill up the necessary information that they need of you, like your business information and all of that. So once you're done, you can head over to the admin console of the Google Workspace. And once you're there, you, as you can see here, I have 13 days left of my free trial and I can set up the users that will benefit from my free trial. So in here, I can see the directory, I can add users, I can add groups, organizational units, and all of that. I can also add devices like Chrome, mobile endpoints, networks, and all of that. And in here on the apps, I can actually enable or disable the Google products for any of my users. So for example, I can disable the Gmail for this specific workspace. I can enable it and all of that. So let's head on to the Gmail of the Google Workspace. As you can see here, it doesn't look that similar to your regular Google Mail. As you can see here, we can see the there's a logo of Google on the upper right corner, which indicates their name and the organization that you're in. And in here, the side panel is also different as you can have the option of mail and the meet in here and once you scroll down there's a lot of options that you can choose into so let's head over now to your drive once you're there it is also not very similar to your typical drive because as you can see I, we have here the logo of google and your organization and the most important part is the storage as you can see here your typical drive has 15 gig of storage but the google workspace have 30 gig and you can actually manage and buy more of it if your organization needs a lot of it so there's that also when you're in your drive and you click this and you click more there's a lot of more products that exist only in Google Workspace. So that's it. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you love this kind of content. Follow for more.